Before we get into the makeup and chatting portion of today's video, I just had to take a moment and, and come on here and show you guys what my hair looks like when it air dries because I'm actually having, before I've even styled my hair, a decent hair day and this never happens. It might not even look like a good hair day to you, but this is, uh, it's actually still like a little bit damp. I'm going to have to hit it with a hair dryer, but I haven't done like a hair related video in so long and I was just like kind of impressed with how my hair was drying today and so I pulled my hair current hair routine or one of the current hair routines that I do to show you and I thought you might be interested. So last night I put some of the Uma, I shed so much, there's hair everywhere. I put some of the Uma Intensely Nourishing Hair Oil from the September Beauty Heroes box in sort of distributed areas of my scalp and then I did take a small, like half a dropper full and put it through the ends and so I slept with that in my hair. And then, can you tell I'm like so excited? I feel like it's just, uh, my hair just feels really soft um, and like manageable today. Um, then I did a first wash. I double cleanse my face and I tend to double cleanse my hair as well, especially if I've oiled it. I did a first wash with the Evolve H Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo. Love this shampoo. It's been in heavy rotation for me for years now. The Pure Harmony Shampoo from Innersense is my favorite second cleanse because I feel like it's what gives my hair sort of fluffy is not a great word, but it, it just, it really gets like any sort of residual product or buildup or oil out. So I feel like it gets my hair really clean without sort of stripping it and drying it out. So there's that. And then I put a little bit, um, I have it sitting upside down in my shower because it's almost out, of the Evolve H Moisture Shine Conditioner, the one that accompanies the shampoo. And I also really like this. In fact, it's quite similar to the Inner Sense conditioner, which I've also been trying, but I like this one a little bit better. And that was it. And then I just let my hair air dry. As you can see, like it tends to dry in sort of weird waves and kinks. So before we get on with the rest of the video, I am going to go style my hair so that you don't have to look at my like crazy mop for the whole video. But then I also wanted to, um, like super hyper this morning. It's a full moon this weekend. I feel like I always have to now mention where we are at in the moon cycle and how it affects my energy. I painted my nails last night with Deborah Lippman Single Ladies, which I am obsessed with. I This and Lincoln Park After Dark, which is what's on my toes right now, that's what was on my fingers before. But yes, is this just not like the most perfect color in existence? And then I thought I would tell you what's on my skin. You know, unlike my hair today, my skin has been sort of, I don't know, like <laughs> bothering me a little bit. I actually popped two congested pores on my forehead and on my chin. Now I've just drawn attention to it, but that never really happens. So I'm like kind of irritated. I don't really know what to make of it, except that maybe uh, I'm layering too many products because my skin is sort of dry in this area, but I don't know, maybe I'm becoming like combo skin type. I don't know. Anyway, toner was the Essential Apothecary Alchemist Hydrate because this is the only toner I have at the moment. I am about to purchase a new one. I'm, maybe I'll just keep it a surprise, but I'm very excited about it. Then I did um, some of the Bottega Organica Illuminate Eye Cream. I am just kind of going balls to the wall with this product because the expiration date is so near it's like supposed to be most potent for two months so i'm kind of using it very liberally under my eyes morning and night and then i've also been using it as a lip treatment that will be an october favorite then serum i did four drops of the provise one to six nutrify tonic and then serum oil hybrid i just did three drops of the audacity acai and rose which I'm almost out of. These you can like plow through in a month. They don't last very long, I will say that, even though this one is quite lovely. Um, and so that's all that's happening with me right now. Totally all natural, bare face, undone hair to the world. I'm gonna go style my hair and then I'm gonna come back and do my makeup and chat with you guys. All right, standard Mercedes hair in place, on with the makeup. Okay, I'm gonna start, so I'm doing my makeup, what time is it? It's kinda early, 10.40 a.m. I need this makeup to last all day and all night. So I'm going out this evening. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Vapor Stratus Instant Skin Perfector in 902. This is 
definitely a fall winter product for me um, because I feel like definitely gives like additional moisture to the skin and I couldn't really use it this summer. Okay, so then before I continue blabbing about, you know, random stuff, I'm going to use Suntegrity as my base today. I love this product. This is always what I recommend as a tinted sunscreen for people that are normal to dry. The equivalent for people that are oily combo, I think the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream Tinted version is a nice equivalent. A company called, this is, by the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. I just thought that this was a nice opportunity to tell you guys about um, this company. They did send me this Suntegrity. I've purchased this myself in the past, but they sent me one of these if I wanted to try out this app called Coco. And what it is, is they mail you a color chart like this, and you download the app on your phone, and you hold the color chart like up to your face, and you take a picture, and it color matches your skin according to this color chart. And then within the app, you can shop for foundations. And one of the ones that they feature is Suntegrity. So if you're not sure what your shade is in Suntegrity, this is kind of an option. It also will list your shade in lots of other different foundations. Like, let me pull up the app. MAC Foundation, It Cosmetics, Bobbi Brown, a brand I've never heard of called Mommy Makeup and does not sound that appealing. Maybelline, L'Oreal, like drugstore stuff, more It, NARS. So it gives you your shade match and like all of those base products. Um, and then you can shop directly within the app. I, in the interest of full disclosure, I had issues with the app. It color matched me, one time it color matched me to light. It gave me the shade porcelain. And then the second time I tried, it gave me the shade medium dark, which is also not my shade. I'm the shade light, and I firmly believe that I am the shade light. I communicated back and forth with, I think, I'm not sure if she's like the app developer or, she said that there's sort of a specific way that you need to hold it and you need to, it can't be like, the photo can't be from the side, it has to be from front on. So basically, I think the app still has a little bit of user experience kinks to work out. In the app currently, you can't order up or down a shade. I think they are working on that. So they are offering a little deal to, people that watch my videos, if you wanna get your own color chart for free, I think it's typically $3.69, so it's not expensive, but if you wanna get one for free, you would pay $1.30 for shipping and handling, and you can use the code LAMOR um, until October 29th. I make no money from this. This is not an affiliate partnership or anything like that. It's basically, they sent me this product I got a free Suntegrity, decided to try the app, and I'm letting you guys know about it. So that's the deal, and I am going to use Suntegrity on my face today. So as far as my skin, to revisit an earlier comment I said that I can tell you while I'm getting this on, I recently went and had a facial. I never get facials, I guess like my Infiori experience just sort of, I don't know, gave me an addiction, although nothing will ever compare to that. I went to this place in Boston called Face Facts, and it was a really interesting experience. It was totally different. It's not like a traditional facial at all. It was more like uh, an energy treatment. Um, the facialist addresses skincare from a Chinese medicine, five element theory perspective. She typed me as a water type, which my acupuncturist actually doesn't agree with. She types me as a metal. It was, it was interesting. I think increasingly I'm very into working with practitioners, select practitioners, because at this point I'm so sick of going and getting substandard to my standard treatments, like everything. Like I can't find a good pedicure anymore to save my life. It just kills me. I'd rather not have it done than have one that's like making me uncomfortable. So for me to find practitioners who I feel are good like energy movers, to me, that's really valuable, and I think that this woman that I saw, Cheryl Ferrari, is very good at that. I just kind of wanted to share that as an experience I had this month. But yeah, my skin's been acting a little weird, I'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Now I feel like my hair looks a little too perfect. I don't like that. Even on a good hair day, I'm never not complaining. 
okay, focus. I'm like texting. People are just so addicted to their phones and like texting 24 seven. Okay, Tarte CC color corrector. I'm gonna do this under my eyes. I really like this product. Um, I think it's really good in the fall and winter. Um, the coverage is really good. It's quite moisturizing. And I like it. I've also been um, testing out the Well People. I got a sample of it, the Well People BioCorrect, and I don't really enjoy it that much. I don't really, I have like one small line, I guess, under each eye, a fine line. Um, I think I've kind of always had, had it though. Anyway, I find that that, I don't find that I have issues with certain concealers settling under my eyes, but the Well People one does, and there's like no real reason. It's the same application technique that I always do and so I think that there's something about that formula so I'm kind of glad I, I tested it because I'm not sure I'll be buying a full size. Okay then I'm going to take a little bit of the Well People Narcissist Foundation Stick in number three and do um, just like a little bit more coverage like around my nose and this white head I self extracted this morning on my chin. This color is a little dark for me. I kind of want to get shade two, but I think it has a different undertone. Maybe a, a yellow undertone? Because I love the formula of the well people. We can take this as an opportunity for me to gush about my sweater. This is one of the Everlane cashmere sweaters, which I posted about on Instagram. So this is what it looks like on, if you're curious. Um, I really, really like it. I'm typically a size small. I decided to size up to a medium because when I looked at the models wearing it, the small looked like a snug fit and like I like that look, but I kind of wanted something a little more relaxed. So I got a medium and I am absolutely adoring it. I really like this charcoal color. Kind of want to get another one. <laughs> I have problems. I'm gonna do a light set with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio and my Wayne Goss number two. I feel like I'm increasingly becoming very, very hyper aware of how colors look on me in terms of wardrobe. I know that that's sort of a foundational part of like creating a capsule wardrobe, for example, is kind of knowing your color palette and what works with you. And again, to sort of bring it back to the idea of energy, I think I'm becoming more perceptive and aware of like color harmony. So not even just like the colors that I wear, like what they, how they mesh with sort of my skin tone, but kind of just like the harmonization of my um, like lip color that I choose to wear with the clothing that I choose to wear it not not from kind of like a pre-planned perfectionist stance but from a color harmonization stance I'm kind of in very into that at the moment um, let me do stuff while I talk I'm gonna do my brows next I'm on to my second Anastasia brow definer in medium brown so for example when I watched back what was the last video I did? My face balm video. I'm wearing like that olive green shirt and kind of like a dark red burgundy-ish lip. It was by Nori. I realized that I don't like olive green on me and I don't know why it's taken me so long to realize I don't like olive green. What I really prefer is like a hunter or a forest green. So the videos prior to that, like my Bottega Organica review, I'm wearing like a forest hunter green Club Monaco turtleneck. That green is so much more resonant, I feel, with my skin tone and complexion and energy or whatever. And I'm like, okay, Mercedes, now you know this, like no more olive or like warm toned greens, you need to go for cooler greens. I don't know, This it's, it's seemingly revelatory to me right now, just in a phase where I'm very into that. So to bring it back to, I just spent like 20 seconds brushing out my eyebrows. To bring it back to my Everlane purchase, I feel like dark charcoal as well as light gray are both good colors on me, I think.
was debating if my video for today, Sunday, even though I'm filming this on Friday, was going to be this, which obviously I've decided to do, or my friend Jenny texted me yesterday and she was like, would you do a Sephora VIB wish list video? And I was like, um, yes, <laughs> that is such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Um, so I was gonna, I got like very overzealous and I was like, um, I need to like do stuff and talk or this video will be an hour. As you may or may not be aware, I did recently become a Sephora VIB. I joined the big girls club. 20% off everything at Sephora, which is really pretty amazing. I've had a long wish list on there for a while and I already have things like sitting in my cart ready for that sale. So I thought it might be a little premature to do it now. I think I'm gonna do it maybe next Sunday. That'll be my video if you're, if you'd be into it. This is Glossier Boy Brow, by the way. I'm still trying to get the dregs out of my first tube, but I have two sitting in my drawer, so I need to just kind of toss this one. I saw they came out with a few new shades of the Generation G. They don't intrigue me personally, but I, I gotta say I really love Jam, the formula and the color, but I have no desire to get others. Okay, eyes are going to be extremely simple. I'm just gonna lay down some primer, the Bare Minerals Primetime Eyelid Primer. I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow at all, except I'm gonna do a little bit of K. R. Weiss Wisdom on the lower lash line. I just, I start to feel it looks a little overdone, even if I do like some light shading on my lid. I'm just like a forever aspiring minimalist in all areas of my life, but I am gonna do winged liner, and like I said, I need this makeup to last until this, well into this evening. So, primer's always a safe bet. Um, before I sat down, turned on the camera and sat down, I was about an hour and a half into a five hour set from a DJ I really like, Atish. He posted a five hour set of him DJing at a bar in Montreal called Stereo Bar. Oh my God, the mix was giving me life this morning. It was so good. I posted about it on Instagram. Instagram's really the only social media platform I can halfway stand and engage in, even though like I don't do a lot of scrolling on Instagram. I pretty much just post and we'll check, like select people that I like. <laughs> Time to do winged liner on camera. Zuzu Lux Liquid Liner. Sitting in my Sephora cart and on my Sephora VIB wish list is the Surat Autographique eyeliner pen. Oh, just makes my heart flutter to even think about. It's finally back in stock. I feel like it's always out of stock on Sephora. before they, the formula turns. I don't know if this has ever happened to me, but I haven't been wearing it as much, I guess, as I had in the past. I'll just prime a new one to me. Don't you love how that's become like a new verb? Prime something to you? Which kind of sounds very cavalier because, I mean, I should check Whole Foods first to see if they have it in stock. Cause like, I'm sort of torn on the whole prime thing like it's so convenient by the same token it also seems like pretty wasteful especially like sometimes i'll order four or five things and they'll come like two to a package one to another package and i'm just like really i don't i don't feel comfortable so one of my other endeavors is that i am trying to minimize my makeup brush collection this it, i used to have two full jars i pared it down to this but i want to pare it down even further to be honest this like is giving me mild anxiety i am gonna do that makeup declutter video soon there and there's a bunch of makeup brushes in the declutter i don't i just i want to only have like a select few Surat Beauty Releve, beautiful eyelash curlers. I've been working with the Marc Jacobs, I forget what these are called. 
highliner gel crayon in blacker. This is the was part of the Sephora birthday set this year if you went for the Marc Jacobs rather than the Fresh. So I've been using this to tight line up here. And tonight I might put some black liner in the lower waterline but not like for during the day. I'm just like gonna go out and do some errands and stuff. I think this product is okay. It's decent actually. I would put it on par with, I got a lot of liquid liner in my lashes, which will then make my mascara flake, which is not fun. I would put the Marc Jacobs on par with my Trish McAvoy gel crayon, and I like those. My The Eco version I tend to have in rotation is the Antonym Eye Pencil, and I really like that. Okay, I'm going to prime my lashes with the Red Apple Lipstick Lash Project Mascara. I gave a full review of this in my um, recent Eco product review video. I've been meaning to do a like a fall wardrobe. I don't have like a true capsule wardrobe yet. I'm like in the process. In fact, I just did another clean this morning, clean out. It's been a process for me, like editing my wardrobe down. And, but I did make some kind of big investment purchases. And I, I do kind of, I would like to show them to you. I got a Penfield, it's basically like a raincoat or like a, a transitional fall spring coat from Madewell. I thought it was going to be like a bigger parka and it's actually quite thin and I was going to return it and then I decided to keep it. But I'm actually obsessed with it and I've been getting so many compliments on it. Um, I guess it was worth the like 200, it was so expensive, it was like $200. I thought it was gonna be like a substantial winter coat. Um, this is Too Faced Better Than Sex. My Everlane Cashmere, obviously. I'm also wearing a new pair of jeans. I got a pair of Topshop Lees and I am really enjoying them. And then I got um, a new pair of Toms. They're like the gray wool looking ones. I'm still looking for a pair of black flat slash very low heeled booties. I'm so picky. I, I kind of want a pair of ash boots. Oh, this just jumped to mind to tell you. Because maybe I'll put it out in the universe and somehow manifest it. I really, really, really want to invest, treat myself, invest, have in my life. <sighs> this pair of Manolo Blahniks. I don't have any expensive high-end shoes like that, like not a pair ever. Yes, it's ridiculous to spend upwards of $500 on a pair of shoes, but if I were to have like one pair that I would just like love and adore and wear all the time and just get so much use and love and utility out of, it would be, I'll insert a screenshot of them too, these blue suede Manolo Blahnik pumps. I am obsessed with the color. I think they would go with everything. I think they would just be such an amazing investment and addition to my wardrobe. I don't know, I can't think of any justification to buy them for myself, but that is like the one luxury item that I can't get out of my head. Okay, let's finish up the rest of my face. No bronzer, I have not been feeling bronzer lately at all, or I'll put it on and it just looks, I'm not into it. I'm gonna do sort of a, harmonized berry cheek and lip. So I'm going to use a little bit of RMS Diabolique on my cheeks first. So many of you guys have been uh, like tagging me and Sam, Lipstick Lady on Instagram, telling us that we were the reason you decided to finally cave and get this in your life. And everyone is like, I'm loving it. And I'm like, yes, it's because it's basically the best makeup item of all time. Just a nice sort of light berry flush to my cheeks. And then I have been trying to reach more for my K.R. Weiss highlighter in the shade Radiance. Lisa Eldridge totally inspired me to try and get more use out of this in my life. So I've just kind of been like, yeah, it's a little bit much for me during the day, but like, I, I don't know, just kind of just been trying to go with it because it is very pretty. It feels very festive and holiday-like. 
Also, am I the only one who's not Hocus Pocus obsessed? Like, I watched that movie when I was a kid. I liked it. Like, it has such a cult following, and I'm like, okay. I'm more obsessed with Home Alone, to be honest with you. I love that movie. Also, I don't think I'm dressing up for Halloween this year. I was Audrey Hepburn last year. And the year before that, I was Anne Hathaway inspired Catwoman, which is probably my favorite costume I've ever done. It was a very hot costume. It was like full body latex. It was all kinds of slay, if I don't say so myself. I'm now like, <laughs> I don't, not that much. I'm probably five, five to 10 pounds heavier than that Halloween. So I don't know if I would, if I would be as comfortable flaunting, flaunting my bod in a full body latex suit these days. Meh, not 10 pounds more. Maybe eight <laughs> on a good day. Okay, now we've come almost to the end and I'm gonna do my lips and it's going to be the lipstick that I literally have been wearing. Like I have to tear myself away from wearing it and it's Kosas Dark Room. I had been alternating between Kosas Dark Room and Elizabeth Street Cosmetics in Franklin and I decided that I really don't care for the Elizabeth Street Cosmetics lipstick and I will talk about that more in the declutter video because that's into the bag it went. I'm gonna first line my lips with Jane Iredale Berry. love this lipstick more if I tried. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and listen to my random stream of consciousness thoughts that pop into my mind. I think I'm just going to sit now and film my Beauty Heroes quarterly makeup box review. So that's going to be up on Thursday because that's when the box is being released. Yeah, sometimes I will go through the effort of changing my lipstick and top and background, but I kind of just want to sit here and film it like this. So you'll see me like this and in the same background on Thursday. I hope you'll tune in. I'm excited to review the products. I already have footage of me demoing them, so that'll be in that video. It's kind of a review and demo of the makeup items in that box, which will be available starting this Thursday. And I think that that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and leaving me comments and just all the love that you guys throw my way. I'm so appreciative. So I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.